Hi guys, Ashley here with Coffee and Bible Time and I'm here for another Q&A video. Um, and so a question we get a ton is how do I overcome anxiety? How do I overcome worry? And I think that in today's society, the word anxiety is a very touchy word now because a lot of people have anxiety due, not just due to, um, oh, I'm worried about this certain thing, but it's actually a mental health thing and it's something that is genetic and gets passed down through families and it's a lot of times something you can't control and it's something that you have and, and um, it's not like it can go away in a second by saying one Bible verse in your head. What I'm going to be talking to you guys today is about how I overcame worry and anxiety. And for me, um, my anxiety wasn't extreme, but when I was little, I had um, pretty bad anxiety, I guess, for my age. But I did not have it to a very, very intense extreme level like some people do. Um, and... So this is just how I overcame worry for me and how I overcame my anxiety. Um, I know that a lot of people struggle on different levels with worry and anxiety. And so this is just what worked for me. And so it's different for everybody, but I hope that some of these tips can help you cope if you are going through worry or anxiety. And um, I just pray for you and that God would just lift you up and that he would be the God of all comfort to you, that he would strengthen you and be with you um, no matter what you go through. So when I was younger, I was probably in third grade and I really struggled with anxiety, which is kind of weird for being a third grader. Um, but I just remember I um, refused to go to school. I would cry and just I would tell my mom I'm not going to school. I would hide in my house. Um, I refused to go to school. When I got to school, I would feel extremely sick. Um, and every single day I would call my mom and she would have to come, not every day, but she would have to come pick me up. And um, I always thought I was sick. So I always, my anxiety caused me to think that um, I always had a stomach ache. And I always was so terrified, just completely terrified like to the max level to throw up and I know there's like a word for this which I'll put right here but it's the fear of throwing up it's the fear of getting sick it's the fear of um just losing that control and so that kind of started to control my life it actually did a lot like I couldn't sleep um I was scared to go into public places I was scared what I would eat my mind would play tricks on me like um, like if you don't do this this and this then you're gonna throw up tonight And so I would be just living under these chains of I guess somewhat anxiety um, and worry About things I couldn't control and I was only in third grade Which really stinks um, but I remember just going to multiple doctor doctor's appointments and them not knowing what it was and finally after months a doctor realizing it's anxiety you have anxiety you are it's all in your head you're not actually having stomach problems and so um um yeah i was like what i was so confused because i didn't even know what anxiety was at that time i remember my mom telling me all right well i'm gonna take you to like a counselor or someone and i just i got so scared because i knew they were gonna make me watch someone throw up or something along those lines and so that's when things really started to change for me so I did have that anxiety and I had it for a long time and I think the biggest thing for me is that my anxiety did not my anxiety or my worry I guess in a way did not go away overnight like that it was definitely a gradual process and I think looking back the thing that definitely helped heal me and help um, help me overcome anxiety was me gradually getting closer to the Lord. And the more I got closer to Him, the more I spent time in the Bible, the more I meditated on Scripture, um, the more I prayed, the more I just gave my life to Him and surrendered everything to Him, 
um, the less and less anxiety I would have. The years went by, and I'm saying years, um, I gradually grew closer and closer to God, and I kept seeing more of who God was, and how faithful He is, and how um, we are His sheep, and He is our shepherd, and He holds us in His arms, close to His heart. And the more I just read these scriptures, the more I was changed from the inside out. And so I think for me, looking back, that is the biggest thing that helped me to overcome anxiety. Um, there are also have been key verses in my life that have helped me so much. And I will put them on the screen here. But verses for going to bed at night because I was so scared to sleep. Um, verses for um, God being with me and strengthening me and helping me. God having a plan for me. All these verses that helped strengthen me and lift me up. So I would say for me, that is the biggest thing that helped me overcome my anxiety. It's just gradually growing, growing to the Lord. And I want you guys to realize that a lot of times, sometimes this does happen, but anxiety or worry doesn't go away like that in an instant but it happens over time and I am so glad and I thank the Lord that I had anxiety because it brought me closer to him and overall I'm so thankful that it did bring me closer to him because without it I wouldn't be where I am at today closer to God um and so all that being said, God has really transformed my life um, through his word, through me just spending time with him. And my prayer for you guys is that you would just draw close to the Lord and he will draw near to you and be with you during hard times of anxiety or worry. Um, yeah, and I just want you to know that... Um, God is so faithful. He is your solid rock. He's your foundation. So lean on him when you aren't strong because in your weakness, he is strong. And that is the beautiful message of this video that God is there for you. He is faithful and he is your mighty rock that you can always lean on. And so, yeah, sorry, I'm going to stop ranting now. I love you guys so much and I hope this video helped you. Bye.